Hello, good morning. This is your Daily Outlook for Thursday the 30th of May. The euro skyrocketed more than 140 pips from 128.37 all the way up to 129.77 against the US dollar. The euro appreciated against its major counterparts as there is confidence that the European economy is growing. The bullish trend may continue for a while and the single currency looks to break its major resistance level at 130. The US dollar collapsed from 102.52 back to 156 against the Japanese yen. The yen strengthened against the dollar after the Bank of Japan Governor Haruhiko Kuroda stated yesterday that a stable financial system is very important. The pair looks to continue its bearish trend, however it looks difficult to break below the support found at 100. Looking at equities, the JER30 declined from its yesterday's high at 8529 back to 8310. The German stocks continued to decline for a second day after worse than expected unemployment changes from Germany. Looking at commodities, gold rallied from 1373 to 1407 against the US dollar, breaking the psychological level of 1400 US dollars per ounce twice within two days. It looks that investors are shifting away from equities and the precious metal are preferred as safe havens. The rally looks to continue towards even higher highs. WTI crude dropped from 95.90 back to 92.70 US dollars per barrel. On the calendar, the US crude oil inventory release is due with expectations at a decrease of 0.8 million barrels. Energy prices are trading near their monthly lows and may trade even lower in the short term. Now let's take a look at what the currencies are doing this morning. The euro dollar pivot points at 128.75 with a preference to enter into long positions at 128.75. The dollar yen pivot points at 101.80 with a preference to enter into short positions at 101.80. The Aussie dollar pivot points at 0.9580 with a preference to enter into long positions at 0.9580. The sterling dollar pivot points at 150.70 with a preference to enter into long positions at 150.70. And the dollar cap pivot points at 103.30 with a preference to enter into long positions at 103.30. Looking at commodities and indices. The oil pivot points at 95, with a preference to enter into short positions at 95. The gold pivot points at 1377, with a preference to enter into long positions at 1377. The silver pivot points at 2211, with a preference to enter into long positions at 2211. The US 500 is at 1659, with a preference to enter into short positions at 1659. And the UK 100 is at 6726, with a preference to enter into short positions at 6726. And of course, for more up-to-date information, please visit us at easy-forex.com. And watch out for these market movers. At 12.30 GMT in the US, we have the unemployment claims expected at 342,000. At 1,400, also in, in the US, we have the pending home sales month-on-month -month forecast to drop by 1.3%. And at 1,500 GMT, also in the US, we have the crude oil inventories expected at 0.8 million barrels. And our mover and shaker of the day today is the Australian dollar, which climbed against the US dollar from its lowest level since October 2011 at 0.9527, all the way up to 0.9697. The construction sector in Australia is growing at a faster pace than estimated, reducing the chances that the Reserve Bank of Australia will cut interest rates. The pair in the short term looks to continue the rally above 0.97. Thank you for tuning into our daily outlook. We look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. I'm Emma Andre from the Easy Forex Dealing Room. Have a great day. Not only have you found a great place for Forex news, you found a great place to trade it. Registration is easy. Just click join now. Membership has its unique benefits, such as the freeze rate, the trade simulator, the inside viewer, and personal dealers. Your personal account manager is waiting for you now.